Hi, my name is Eminence and welcome back to my channel. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you! Now let's get this life hack going. Because of popular demand, I decided that today we are going to learn how to cry on cue. In my gym hack video, I talked about the power of crying. To truly understand the power of crying, we have to understand why we cry. Now me personally, I never cry. I have only cried once and that is when Letty died in Fast and Furious. Spoiler, she didn't really die. But you should know that because that movie is from 2009 and the ninth movie of the franchise is in theaters right now. So we're good here. Now to understand why we cry, I have to put on my psychology glasses that make me look smarter. Where are they? Much better. From now on, when I wear my glasses in the video, you will know it's Eminence the psychologist talking. For those of you who don't know yet, I graduated cum laude at the University of watching the Dr. Phil show. That is how I got my psychology degree, which makes me a very experienced psychologist because I've seen all the episodes of the show. So why do we cry? According to the internet, we cry by a lot of things. Except for me, because I never cry. According to the internet, we cry for various reasons. But I will give you my reason, because the internet is full of people who will lie to you, and I will never lie to you because I have a psychology degree. The reason people cry is because sometimes stars aren't visible, and people rely on them to tell them how their life is going or where their life is going. That is the only reason, and there is no need for you to look it up. Just trust me. So now that we have established that, let's teach you how to cry on cue. I have the mother of crying hacks, but before I share him with you, I wanted to visit my favorite website and see if we can find some good tricks over there. I'm talking about WikiHow, the site that teaches you how to do anything in life, from how to perform a high five to how to apologize to your cats. If you want me to make a video on how to perform a high five, leave a comment down below. But today we are going to learn how to cry on cue. So let's have a look. Although it's a pretty good website, most of the tricks they have are pretty basic. For example, hold your eyes open as long as you can. I never blink, so that already is a problem for me. Bite the inside of your lip. A little pain can bring tears to your eyes. I'm not going to put myself through pain just to cry. I'm not a sociopath. Rub a mentholated tear stick under your eyes. I don't get this one. Isn't that just going to make my eyes smell better? But why would I need my eyes to smell better? Oh. Guys, I get it. It's not to make your eyes smell better. The menthol is going to create a sting sensation that's going to make you cry. It says so right here. And then of course you have cutting some onions. Now this one is a little bit tricky. Remember my first video? You should remember my first video because it's less than two months old. And if you're watching this video, you should have seen that video by now. But if you haven't, please do. But I'm bringing it up because for that video, I had to cry on cue. I cut four big onions and they didn't make me cry. Every other time I cut onions, I cry like a baby. But when I need that trick to work for a video, suddenly I can't cry. Explain that to me, WikiHow. Why didn't that work? So I have concluded that cutting onions is not a reliable method. It works when you're making spaghetti, but not when you need to cry for a video. And there are more hacks here that don't work. The next one is thinking of things that make you cry. Nothing makes me cry, so this one is useless. 
Even Lady dying doesn't work anymore because she didn't really die. And this isn't a spoiler because that movie is 12 years old. Next, imagine yourself being weak or helpless. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Doesn't work, but that's a good one. <laughs> Here is one that might work. Create a sad scenario using your imagination. We could try this one. Let's set the scene. I was driving my car on a dark, dusty road. It was raining, so my vision was impaired. My phone, who was sitting inside my purse on the backseat, started buzzing. With one hand, I tried to grab my purse, but I was too far away. I couldn't pull off to the side of the road because I had to make it home on time for my beauty sleep. So I tried one last time to reach for my purse. I turned around to see exactly where my purse was and just when I had found my purse, something hit my car. I immediately looked back at the road and stopped the car a few feet further. I looked in my rear view mirror and saw something lying in the middle of the ground. I looked at the watch on my dashboard and just when I did, I noticed my phone was laying on the dashboard this whole time. Nope, this story doesn't work because I eventually found my phone. He wasn't even in my purse. I guess I don't have any sad stories. So this hack also doesn't work. Uh, I had to imagine a sad scenario. I thought I had to revisit a bad memory. Whoops. <laughs> and then they also have try making a crying face. Let's follow the steps. Turn the corners of your lips down a little. Try to force the inner corners of your eyebrows upwards. Wrinkle up your chin like people do right before they start bawling. This may look fake if you overdo it, so try to be subtle. This doesn't make me feel sad. Do I look sad? Do I look sad? Maybe I should make the sounds. <laughs> hmm. It does make me look sad, so this might work. This might work. But I don't know. What do you think, guys? Does this work? <laughs> Leave a comment down below. <laughs> okay, I think we're good with Wiki Half for now. Let me show you how it's really done. What you do is, you grab a knife and you st I'm just kidding, I'm not a psychopath. When nothing makes you cry, it's hard to produce tears. And that is why it's hard to cry on cue. So what I do is, I always carry a water bottle. Nobody will suspect anything because it's very normal to carry a reusable water bottle. Yes, on this channel we care about the environment. People don't notice that I actually never drink the water. Because what sane human being actually drinks water? I'm sorry. Sometimes my face gets stuck in this weird position. So as I was saying, you never drink the water because you use it to put it on your face when you need to cry at the gym. But you can also take it to family gatherings. You can easily hide it in your purse. You start talking about politics or sports when somebody doesn't agree with what you are saying. Instead of trying to understand their point of view, you turn around, grab a little bit of water and put it on your face. And when you turn back around, all you need to do is put on your best acting performance. Why would you do that? Why would you say that? Why would you eat that? As you can see, it's very effective and you barely have to put any effort into it. You don't have to walk around with onions in your pockets. And you don't have to try to make your eyes smell better. All you need is a little bit of water. Although the making a sad face was a good hack, the lack of tears is going to give it away and make you look like a sociopath. Now I can hear you guys thinking, 
What if you forget your bottle and you don't have access to water? This should be a very rare situation, but you're right. What if there is no water around? You are always surrounded by fluids. For example, bodily fluids. I'm not saying you should, but you could. What I'm saying is, you'll find a way to get that face wet if you really need to cry on cue. If there is no water, I've just given you an alternative. So there is no reason for you to fail at this very simple hack. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like and subscribe so you can help me grow on YouTube. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.